Hi, I'm Dr. John Willardson, fellow in the American Academy of Implant Dentistry and associate faculty at Loma Linda University Center for Implant Dentistry and Prosthodontics. In 2013, I was approached by the California Dental Board to take over a situation of a multiple implant centers who had gotten themselves into a situation where they couldn't get out of. And I was contacted by the Dental Board of California to take over and help them in this process because there were thousands of patients whose implants were failing, cases were failing, prosthodontics were failing. So after having taken on the challenge of taking over these failed practices where the doctors were removed and I had to step in and help these patients, I learned so many things that I could not have learned in residency or in dental school or even in private practice. So after many years in developing these tools and skills that I learned through this process, I want to help oral surgeons, prosthodontists, periodontists, throughout the country in developing their implant practices and implant centers. I want to be able to, through these discoveries that I have made, minimize the growing pains for surgeons and prosthodontists who are wanting to grow their implant practices. And today I want to present my new educational training program. Based on my residency training, my years of experience in implant surgery and prosthodontics practice, and the years that I spent the California Dental Board in their situation of helping patients who are abandoned by other doctors. So the surgical phases of these courses will include surgical exodontia, proper extraction and removal of dentition and teeth without removing bone, guided bone regeneration and proper techniques to grow bone where we need it, subantral augmentation or sinus grafting and developing the sinus and subantral area for support of posterior maxillary implants. Osteotomy preparation. I use a different technique for every single tooth site. Different osteotomy techniques for different sites according to the density of the bone, according to the expansion of the bone, and going through the protocols to develop these sites and prepare the most ideal site for each implant. Hard and soft tissue management and how to manage the hard tissue and soft tissue with bone regeneration and tissue regeneration procedures. This is the surgical aspect of the, these educational forums and we look forward to providing these for the doctors throughout the United States and worldwide. Being a resident at Loma Linda University, of course, the first implant in my hands, which Dr. Lozada and the doctors at Loma Linda was Stereos, or which is Noble BioCare now. And so my years of experience using Noble BioCare implants is uh, tremendous. I've placed thousands and thousands of Noble BioCare implants. I find it to be the most ideal implant, both for the mandible or for the maxilla. These courses, I want to train doctors in proper surgical technique using Noble BioCare implants and understanding the tolerances and the most ideal implant for every situation. Noble BioCare has those implants. The Noble Active, I feel, in the maxilla is a perfect, wonderful implant. And in the mandible, I use the PMC Replace. And this is a wonderful implant that has minimal bone loss, is very kind to the tissues, and I want to share this with doctors that they can get these implants in their hands and start utilizing them and understanding why it's critical to choose Nobel BioCare implants when they're developing and designing their cases. One of the reasons I feel very adamant and strong about Nobel BioCare is after having taken over the Smile Implant Center and then using uh, implant direct and knockoff of Noble BioCare implants and seeing the tremendous failures both prosthetically and surgically using cheap parts, cheap prosthetics, cheap implants. It is critically important that we get this message out there that we help doctors understand if, and I tell the doctors that refer to me, if you're going to go cheap on something, don't go cheap on the implant. If it's impression copings, healing abutments, analogs, anything else, that's fine. Stuff that's not staying in the mouth, it's okay to go cheap on. But for the implant itself, I am very adamant about not using cheap materials. And so as a result, these courses are designed to help doctors understand how critically important it is to use the proper implant, proper materials, proper design. And, and with this, I suggest for every doctor to use Noble BioCare.